On June 10, 2012, the Yak-1 aircraft of the Northern Fleet Air Force was lifted from the bottom of the Krivoy Lake near the village of Safonovo 1. This video tells its story. On August 23, 1943, Junior Lieutenant Demidov returned from a combat mission to escort the North Sea convoys of the Allies. It was his fourth combat mission. While approaching to land, the pilot encountered an emergency and was forced to make an extra turn. He was running low on fuel and wasn't going to make it to the runway. The pilot made an emergency landing on a lake and ejected from the sinking plane, saving his life. Later on, the junior lieutenant Dimitrov shot down three German planes in the air battles. At first, the search was conducted on the Lake Chernogubske. Then the searches of the club Ikar, with the help of the Fund Wind Memory of Victory and the Technical Museum of Vadim Zadorozhny found the plane at the bottom of the Krivoy Lake after studying archival documents and the pilot's memoirs. In 2012, an L-2 plane that was searched for a very long time was found, and in the same lake, Dimitrov Siyak-1 was found as well. As a result, two planes were recovered. The plane was left in the way it was found, it's in the same condition. Some parts are missing, something is rotten. The Yak-1 is an aircraft that has a wooden wing and a percale skin. That means there's a metal frame that's rotted through, and the wood would have shriveled up and disintegrated into pieces on the way from Murmansk to Moscow. So the searchers had to dry it first for a year and a half. Now visitors of the exhibition can see the original color of Yak-1. We will tell you more about other unique exhibits of this museum in future videos. Subscribe to the channel and do not miss them!